Fragrance Lover. I have two very special guests with me today. Mr. Drac. Cody, how are you, sir? Good to see you. Thanks for doing this with us. And Steven, you guys know me. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you, right? Nice. I asked Cody if we could do something together. He said, sure, I'll do something with you guys. And uh, I was trying to think of something fun to do, and I thought maybe we would do a, like a blind test of they'll smell something and they have to decide whether it's niche or designer. Cool? Yeah. I have six designer and six niche. So, so turn away. Designer, all right. Because I've seen a lot of designers head in this direction as of late, like very creamy and a little sweet. I forgot to show you guys what it was, but I'll leave a subtitle. Mm. Kind of has like a Dior own vibe, a little bit. It's got a little bit of Dior own vibe. It's very. I, I first, yeah, definitely designer is what I agree yeah. with this one. It's got um. It's got a little bit of a Dior vibe, but it also sort of reminds me of like a, it, it's not one million, but it has a right. one million-ish vibe. Really? All right, yeah, well, beans so you guys say designer, yeah, right? Yeah, Tonka Beans. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so this one was actually Prada Long. Oh my God, <laughs> funny. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, I saw okay. Dior. So I have actually <laughs> never smelled this fragrance before. So now you did. Yeah. That smells pretty good. That's yeah. good stuff. Yeah. Next step, turn it away, gentlemen. Yep. This one here, out there in BFL land. BFL land? <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> Wait, oh, it's on here. One for you. Don't turn around yet, because I didn't put it away. Sure. All right, there you go. So that one's done. All right, designer or niche? Niche. I want to see niche too, just because the first one was a designer. I didn't. I just. <laughs> I didn't do that. I didn't set up any particular order. I just pulled them out. But I know this though. I know this as well too. Yeah. That's why I'm. Oh. Well. Yeah, I think you know this one. I, would, I, I think you would both know this one actually. I'm a little embarrassed. Don't be. That I don't know what it is. You're supposed to know every single fragrance. Come on, you smell thousands no, of fragrances. This one I like, and I can't place it though. I'm gonna say niche, but can you answer one question? Sure. Is it a mark? Is it marketed for women or for men? It's unisex. Okay. Okay. All right. So you say you both say niche. Yeah. All right. So it actually is niche. It is wild fruits by. Ah. Oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> you love it, right? Yeah, I liked it. Um, Cedra Bois and that one were the two ones that I was looking at yeah. in terms of buying. Um, yeah. Obviously, I didn't pick it up yet, but... I think this one is great. I do love this one a lot. Yeah. Um, the way a lot of niche fragrances come in, or specifically the more higher end, especially fresh fragrances, I find them a lot easier to tell whether or not it's more high end as opposed mm -hmm. to inexpensive just because of the way that... They wear on skin or... The way that they come off, it's really hard to describe, but mm -hmm. um, I used to really hate uh, fresh fragrances, mm -hmm. specifically from designer. It yeah. wasn't until the niche world where I was like, holy crap, this is this is fantastic. So right. that initial blast is really... I think in most cases, I think that a niche freshie is just done 
much more smoother than, than yeah. some designers sometimes. Like the designer can be kind of screechy. And, yeah, and yeah. Very, yeah, very screechy. That's a great, right. you know, so, so, yeah, yeah. That's right. All right, turn it around, gentlemen. Good one. Okay, there you go. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I forgot to show challenging. them again. Yeah. Could you turn around so I can show them? Turn around, guys. Sure. I just want to show them. Okay. It's this. All right. So, you say it's niche? Yeah, I just, <clears throat> I think this one is a bit challenging. And maybe there's oud in here or some other dark note that I'm kind of picking up on. I think, it, I think it's oud. It's not a sloppy oud, though. It's a. Yeah. It, it kind of reminds me a little bit of like the traditional like rose oud combos. Oh yeah? Yeah, Tantau. yeah. So they both say niche. This is niche. Well, it's this is not designer, niche. Then. It's designer. Oh my god. Really? Halston Amber Man. Oh, wow. Halston? Yeah. Interesting. Now, I want to I have a story. I've had this way before the hype started recently. Yeah. yeah. And um I bought it actually at Bergdorf Goodman. And I bought the other one, the um it's um, Holston Man, this is Holston Amber Man. Mm. But the, the the man bottle had a stream spray that like, <laughs> oh, really? and I, it just turned me off and I never wore both of them because yeah. of that dumb bottle. I didn't bother returning it for whatever reason. Same. So, uh, you liked this. You smelled this last week and you thought it was yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. I, I don't remember. It's I nice mean, fragrance. Yeah. Nice amber too. Gary owns that as well and he likes oh, yeah? that one. Oh, yeah? UK? No, uh, he's... A new Jersey, reviewer. Actually, yeah. Oh, okay, gotcha. <laughs> His channel is no nonsense. How do you like that, Gary? I give you a shout out on our video. All right, next wow. up, a new fragrance. The next one in line. We've gone right. through three. It's this one. Guys out there and ladies out there. Okay, there you go. Yeah, soapy, crisp, clean. That's what I like a lot. It actually smells like a Mice and Fences Um the, Yeah, the MFK fragrances. Mm -hmm. This house is kind of new to me. This one is? I mean, it's been, the house has been around for a while, but yeah, as, yeah. as reviewing and testing products from the line, it's kind of new for me. That should be a hint for you. <laughs> Mister, but you're always discovering new things. True. Like in your one of your more recent videos, you talked about how Chopard is a house you didn't really have a lot of experience None. with, and that's None at all. So it's like I know we're always discovering new niche houses, but then something leads me to believe that this might be a designer too. Okay. I don't know. Mm. All right. What do you What do you think? I'm gonna go with niche on this one. Okay. And what about you, sir? I'll say niche as well. All right, and you both would be right. It's cool. Coconero from mm. Tiziano Terenzi. Oh, cool. That's interesting. It's a niche take on a designer type fragrance, in my opinion, and I think it's really great. It wears on my skin mm. very nicely, and the aquatic vibe doesn't go sharp or screechy, and it yeah, stays yeah. through the length of the whole fragrance on your skin. All right, so moving right along. One, two, three, four. We got only, only eight more. Having fun, guys? <laughs> Having fun? So far, so good. Wait, yeah, how many right. total? We have four. Okay, cool. I'm not keeping track of how many you got right or whatever, but I think you've all been kind of... One wrong so far. Yeah, the yeah. Unlike me. Here you go. Turn around, guys. Forgot to show them again. I am the worst. Subtitles. You're gonna have to do. <laughs> All right, niche for you, M. I don't know. Are you playing name that same? I smell this. I smell familiar or something. Yeah, of that yeah, nature. yeah. That's, I'm trying to <laughs> recall a fragrance memory, but I'm leaning towards the same thing, niche as well. So the two guys um, say niche. I, I gotta admit though, I'm going through test bias here. I'm like, 
-hmm. I want to say since we've had majority niche, if I'm looking at there, that there has to be a designer coming up. So, like <laughs> yeah. when I was when I was, you know, back in grade no. school, I'd be like, well, surely there must be a D coming up or something <laughs> yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, um, no, I, <laughs> don't do a formula. It should be by smell when you. All right, all right, fine. I'm gonna try and block that out of my head. I'm gonna go with the same thing and say niche. The, um, the guys say niche. Mr. Red Lessons and Mr. Drag Talk, it wow. is a designer. This is Dark Rubber Rider from John Barbato with the genre. Mm. Claude Heronet. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, sorry. Oh my god. All right, so. That's awesome. I kind of was trying to pick ones that were a little more daring for yeah. designer and a I little can more. See that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. so you picked all the intenses, the darks, the <laughs> yeah, yeah. Way to go, Carlos. All right, next up. And I did not see it, so. I believe you, Cody. You're a man of your void. All right, one for you, one for you. Thank you. I know this one. <laughs> Do you? What is this? Uh... I want to say I've you smelled can't... this before, too. Yeah. You, can't fuel... you can't fool me. This I is, think I did. This is Peter Two Double Vanille. No. 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 Ah. Uh, really? There's definitely vanilla in there, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure. Yeah. This is boozy vanilla. Could be Cologne of the Missions, though. It could be. But funny enough, all right. You guys say niche. Those are both niche answers that you gave. It's actually not. It is Perry Ellis. I reviewed it last night. It just came out on my channel. Perry Ellis Oud Collection Black Vanilla Absolute. And, great, you, great oh, and you compared it to to both of the ones you said. <laughs> so. Oh well, that is fantastic because if that, how much was that? Thirty-five. Oh boy! All right, you gonna uh, get it? Yeah, yeah, that'll that be. be good, right? From what I hear, the whole trio is good. There's Vetiver Royale, mm -hmm. uh, Saffron Rose, and Black Vanilla Absolute. Yeah, this good, is, right. This is really good. Yeah. All right. Yay! This is really good. Yeah, wow, that's awesome. I am really impressed. This was this is fun for me. I'm enjoying myself immensely. It's getting a little more exciting here. Yes. <laughs> All right, take out a few more BFL strips. Next fragrance is this one. I got a teeny weeny bottle of that one. <laughs> now he's gonna think how many? Which ones does he have in teeny weeny size? <laughs> here. Oh, sorry. <laughs> which lines come in teeny weeny bottles? It's kind of minty. It's light. Yeah, it's got a minty fragrance. It's got a maybe minty geranium sensual. or something. I'll give you a hint. It's a fragrance that the uh, good smellers I used to like to joke and prank each other with. Oh, well, that doesn't help me. All right, I'm sorry. gonna. Sorry. Um, no pressure. Oh, my bad. Yeah, <laughs> no. Uh, I'm gonna say niche just okay. because. Do you like it? I haven't. I do like it. Okay. Yeah, I like this I one like a this. lot actually. You yeah. like it too? I like it a lot too. This is a niche house. Oh, did you say your answer? I'm sorry. No, it's. I was gonna guess niche, but I was gonna say it reminded me of Enchanted Forest. Um, oh yeah. It's actually called Remarkable People from Et Al Libre Yeah, yeah. And the joke was that they will go up and spray six, right, six right, six six feet six feet and spray right. That's, oh, the okay. that's actually the fragrance that I was thinking about, but I was like, ah. Um, <laughs> This yeah, is not secretion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this, no, this no, is no. clearly. I, I thought you were talking about the actual fragrance, so I was like, okay. this is clearly not secretion's magnifique, <laughs> which is what that clue. Yeah. Kind it's of funny you mentioned me. this. This smells you, uh, or this reminds you rather of Enchanted Forest. Yeah, yeah. This reminds me of another fragrance, but made by the same so, perfumer. Oh, really? It reminds me of uh, Fusion Sacré. Oh, cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But, but it definitely reminds me of Fusion Sacré. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, that, that's that's a good. Yeah, that's. This smells really good, actually. Yeah, it's worth reviewing. <laughs> I'd like to. Yeah. Remarkable so, people. So very nice. Oh my God, that's awesome. All right, it's a Libre del niche house. All right, so. Um, are you keeping them somewhere? Oh yeah. yeah. All right. Two more. Turn around, gentlemen, when you can, and I will spray the next one, which is. This. Folks out there? Yeah, no, hold on. I don't oh. spray yet. <laughs> getting there, getting there. I'm sorry. Slow post, BFL. All right, there you go. And there you go. Thank you. I know what this is. Do you? Yeah. 
So is it Anisha or designer? Yeah, let me guess first if he okay, knows yeah. what it is. Okay. Then. Um, I'm gonna go with designer this time around. Okay. Um. <laughs> I don't want to be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> is it a? It's a Joe Malone. Yeah. I don't, I don't you, know saw, you saw, you saw, he saw the bottle cheater. No, he's not, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's Maran Tonka from Joe. Mo. Oh, okay. And That's I tried, I intentionally tried to pick a niche house that, or fragrance from that house that smells kind of designer. It could mm. be like a, like a pure, uh, like a pure, not pure Tonka. Um, code Tonka, Code Parfumo type of feel. Armani Code. Yeah. Armani Code. Yeah, gotcha. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. I see what you mean though. So you knew the scent? Yeah. And I just published our video. Did. You did the, guess the Joe Malone right off the bat. Yeah, yeah I saw that. Yeah, I published yeah, yeah. it like two days but ago. But did I bring, I didn't bring this one out. Did I bring one out that day? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, up in the video. And All right. <laughs> and everything. <laughs> Ruin the moment. I'm, Sorry. I'm known for that. All right, next. <laughs> Getting there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four more. I'm still kind of surprised by the John Robato's because I own that one. Oh really? Yeah. I haven't smelled that one at all, but that's uh that's actually a pretty impressive one. Yeah. It smell like the other one. I get a certain amber absoluteness about this one. The Dark Rider. All right, here you go, guys. Okay, okay, okay. You can turn around. Okay. I know this one. <laughs> you should. You've been wearing this a lot lately. <laughs> yeah. I won't say anything. So good. I'm not sure if I like this one. Okay. <laughs> it has a unique smell though. I'll give it that. I'll give you a description after you guess. Okay. Of how I would describe it. And time's up. All right. Niche design. I'll go for niche. So think... You know what it is, right? For sure. I know what it is. Okay. Think Dior Homme mm -hmm. mixed with Black Orchid by Tom Ford. He may not have smelled it yet. It's it's rather new. No, but I'm saying you. just oh, just based off yeah, of that. Yeah. That's what I get. Like if you were to layer Dior Homme with Black Orchid. Yeah, that's actually a really good description. E, when he smelled this, said it smelled very waxy. Yes, that's what it is. It <laughs> smells like... Lipstick, but not the... It's not Cosmetic, the same. It's, it's not the same texture. lipstick vibe yeah. of. No, no, it has the same vibe of the Dior Homme, which is what, yeah. which is what is giving me that. But it goes in a different type of waxy direction, if you will, which is why I buy the waxy mm -hmm. kind of take to it or no. Yeah. So this is actually a designer. It just was released. Sorry, Stephen, if I'm. No, that's okay. I want to go. Oh, <laughs> it's right here. Valentino, ah, Valentino Omo, Omo. Noir, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I just reviewed the, the uh, intense, not the, not that one. That's a great one too. I do yeah, like. Yeah. Do you like with the them? silver, right? Yeah. Like yeah, with the silver. silver. Exactly. Same bottle with the silver. Yeah. That's nice. Mm. All right. Moving right along. I forgot the name of this one. Sugar snaps. <laughs> I forget the name of this. But it's this right here. Does it say the name? It of doesn't. The it doesn't. <laughs> Duh. Yeah. I would have looked. All right, I know. I know. I'm a blonde, Stephen, but give me a, a, a little bit of a break. I was really just trying to get a hint for myself. But here you go, guys. All right. I know. Whoops. Whoa. Crap it for me, so I don't see. There you go. <laughs> it's kind of has a Montal type vibe to it. Montal vibe. I see what you mean. Yeah. Yeah, it actually does. Like a very light red out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. If you wow. imagine that, yeah. It so wears I not like this. that on skin. <laughs> oh, right, really? Yeah. I was intentionally trying to stump y'all, so <laughs> does it smell designer or or uh well or uh well if you're intentionally trying to, to stump you know, me. To, yeah. to make it Oh, okay, gotcha. Um, Stomp wasn't right, the right word. Make it a little, a little harder. Okay. Because I have Montal in my mind, I want to say niche. That's okay. Say, if yeah, there's yeah. a designer that smells like this, I'm buying it. It's not Montal. But it's, 
you're close with the letter. Really? Yeah. And Sarah? No, it's no. not that either. But close with the letter again. Mom. Um, um, What's the house that starts with the M? Matriarch. Mona Diorio. Um, Maison. Designer or niche, you think? Niche. Niche? Yeah. <laughs> niche. It indeed is niche. It's this one from M. Mikhailov. Wow. Ah, okay, gotcha. That's awesome. Nice. Very I nice. I can't remember the name. I'm okay. going to put it down below. But it's by Emmy Kalev. That I know for sure. Yeah. That's and a I, I, for me, I got a, a fresh vibe on this on my skin. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So the undercurrent of it really reminds me of Montal fragrances. Really a lot does. of them have that same kind of like undercurrent of it. But nice. Very nice. So yeah. We really only got does. two more. A DNA, if you will, right? Mm, yeah. 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 All right. So we're moving on to the next. To last one. Mm -hmm. uh, here you go, guys. All right. Thank you. Wow. Yeah. It's got let's, a strong vibe to let's it. Let's count the niche. One, two. No! <laughs> Is it niche? No, no, it's not. This has a very strong, like, burnt, burnt coffee smell. I was gonna say coffee. I'm laughing because the girls the other night said maybe burnt caramel instead. Ah, they said something like that, but they said cotton candy. Yeah, I can see that. Some yeah. Malto. Yeah. It's funny because we said smoky coffee, and I'm thinking of latent exclusive, but I know that oh. that's not what this is. Yeah. No. No. Well, no. 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 Coffee though. I like it. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is. But I like it too. I, I would. Well, it is not niche. It's his designer from Martin ah, Maison. Martin I call Martin false. Martin. I call false. That is, is a that niche. No, niche? it's they're a designer. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, damn, they're in Sephora, and it's a cloak. It was. I well, it is in Sephora. Okay. Yeah. That's what. <laughs> well, I. I get. I, I get your my point. brain focuses. I get your point, though. But if yeah, I'm yeah, wrong, yeah. I'm wrong. If you'll, you guys, let me know for sure. You know, it, it's a are. blurred line. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Kind of like sort of. I really think good. that. Tom Ford Pride of London is not that a really, is really designer. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You love oh, that type, oh, really? Well, no, Tom Ford Pride of Blend, I don't consider a designer. People I out there do. Really? I think it's niche. To me, it's niche. I mean, Tom Ford is a quote unquote designer brand, but that's mm -hmm. a niche. It's a niche line. They have of, their, yeah. Yeah, yeah, they have their designer fragrances that they market. Even their designer fragrances are a little bit expensive, mm -hmm. but they market their private blend as. Exactly. A tier up, basically, and a step up. So you wouldn't yeah. find Dior Privés at Macy's. Gotcha. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Gotcha. 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 So a lot of designer I love this brands movie. are all putting out yeah. luxury lines. Even um, I mean, the most recent one that I know of is Burberry has one of them. Oh, yeah. With yeah the bow ties. Right? I think Mont Blanc yeah. has one too, which Mont I haven't Blanc. heard too much about. Really? It. Yeah. I in, do. in the book, okay. there's okay. a high end line from Mont Blanc. That's awesome. All right. Last one. That is a really good fragrance. I gotta say. Yeah. That is really good. Yeah. <laughs> All right, turn around for the last one, gentlemen. Right. Okay. Oh, I know this one. This smells like an MFK fragrance. Yeah. Which one, though? I don't know. Aqua Universalis Forte. That's what this smells like. But yeah. Are you? You're a fan of that one? Or oh, not Forte? Not Forte. Sorry. Aqua Universalis, the Cologne version. That's what this smells like. Because Forte has a fruitier smell to it. This one. That was one of. The yes. Decant, you give yes, me that back was one of the decant. This is one that I have been hunting about. I'm pretty sure it's it. If it's not, I'm gonna feel like a fool. But <laughs> <laughs> but it's definitely an M MFK. Yeah, it yeah. feels like an yeah. MFK fragrance. It is, yeah. So that um, means they both say niche. So I'm niche, yeah. It is MFK indeed, but it is Aqua Vitae Forte. Oh, Aquavite. dang it! All right, so close. Oh, well. that's interesting. And I love that one. You know what? But I'm sure Francis Crook John utilizes similar notes. Yeah, yeah. Um, it definitely has the same feel, and it's, it's in the same family, and you'd wear both of those mm. on the same type of occasion. Warm weather, yeah, refreshing. Yeah. That's funny. Yeah, that smells... That smells... So I've never smelled that one before. I smelled Aqua, Aqua Vitae, and while we were in Paris... And I did love I that one. Of, yeah, I did not like that one at all. So, yeah. um, you know, thinking of it, that smells so much like the Cologne version of... Yeah. Apple University. We were there for the launch of that at Oswald. We the were. Original. We were. We interviewed yeah, we him. Yeah. We interviewed him. 
That's interesting. Yeah, that is a good fragrance. I like that one. Yeah. Yeah. These yeah. are fine noses here. This is all just in fun and, and for good times. And uh, yeah. But I think there's something that we can take away from this is that there's usually a stigma that niche fragrances are challenging. And I think fragrances like Dark Rebel Writer and yeah. mm -hmm. Amber Man kind of dispel that notion. Yeah. And so do these. these uh, yeah. Those two. Yeah, yeah. The two that really surprised me were, yeah, the Amber Man. Uh, this sucker right yep. here. And this is TJ Maxx gettable now these days. Yeah. Wow. And this one right here. This so smelled good. so much like um, Speedo Two Double Me. Um, I just put on a video last night. Check it out if you have time. I compared yep. that one and the one that you mentioned. Awesome. All the missions. Yeah. So um, thank you for joining me. Thank, thank you, for you so me. much. Thank yeah. You and you, I'll see you next <laughs> week. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Please do subscribe to their channels if you haven't already. If you're new to this one, please do consider subscribing. And don't forget to click on that bell icon so you don't miss notifications for future reviews, new content, layaways, not layaways, giveaways, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, all my guests on my channel. Thanks Start the layaway today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's mine is yours. And uh, we'll see you in the next review. Take care. Take care. Take care.